Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the series strategy game, and we are returning to Hearts of Iron 4, where we're playing as the Greater German Reich. We've just beaten the Soviets uh, for good, actually, and now control their entire, entire country. So that's pretty nice. Uh, we're going to pull most of our troops here back to our homeland, and uh, yeah, we need to start a look at the Western Allies here. So our idea is to commence an offensive against Iran, turn into the British Raj and take down India um, and in particular get all of the resources there. Also make life just generally a little bit more difficult for them. At the same time, our naval campaign to cut off the United Kingdom from the US is uh, continuing. We've also gotten most of our operatives back and you can see I have set them up to be in the United States and in the United Kingdom in between episodes. So that should hopefully work out. The other thing that I wanted to point out is, uh, I just gl casually glanced around here in between episodes and that is one of the things that I did see. You remember back in the beginning where we took Denmark? Now it turns out we didn't take all of Denmark. See that? That's Denmark. All of that's looking pretty good. But look at this down here. This colour here, that's not our colour. This is actually, I think the island of Bornholm if I'm not mistaken. And this in Sierland. And this little island here is still under Danish control. There's another thing that's noteworthy over here. Remember when we got all of the notifications that, were, that there was an imminent naval invasion of Eastern Germany? Well, I suppose, look at this, 13 to 24 task forces docked in this naval base. They've got an enormous amount of ships in the Baltic Sea. Let's see whether we can take that out. So uh, you guys can actually, I suppose, fly over here and then... Okay, so this is counting as North Germany. Okay, so go to North Germany and do port strikes in, in that area. I think it does count as that. Yeah. Right, we'll see whether there's going to be some damage there. I'm very excited. Right, that being said, um, now our task here is Iran. We're going to declare war here. Um, we are actually being granted independence, uh, that's not a big deal. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to ask you, both of you guys here, just to commence your offensive on Tehran. We have more troops coming into the south here, uh, but I think they're going to be not that relevant. So yeah, let's go ahead here and see what we can achieve. Now, you guys are apparently all fine over there, but I would really, really like to break through here. So... Let's see whether that is something that we can do. So, you know what, guys? Try to get to Tehran as quickly as possible. Iran has joined the Allies. No big surprise here, uh, but still kind of interesting. You know what? Um, try to spot this attack here. Just give it another angle, I would say. And then what we could potentially also do... I mean, you guys are, are guarding that area, but I suppose we could also take these three guys here, attack down there. One of you guys is going to support that attack, and the other three are going to support this attack. You can actually walk down here too. Right, there we go. Iran is now an enemy in the actual war. That's fine. Decision available. Oh, war propaganda. Yes, yes, yes. Our war support is uh, lacking, so we are definitely going to commence uh, that. We have changed our manpower law, so we are a little bit... Uh, Short there, but let's see. Okay, we have beaten the allies here. And I'm really not sure why you guys are not moving up much, much, much more aggressively. Yeah, I know your supply is bad, but... That's, that's really no point in, in staying behind. Your supply is not going to get better just by... Kicking about over here and not being productive at all. Right, let's do come down there. Um, you know what, two of you. Try to cut behind the Iranian lines here. We don't want to... Uh, I say that and immediately it fails. Yeah, we want to cut them off basically from withdrawing too badly. So let's see whether there's going to be something that is going to be possible to do. Our troops up over there. Polish operative, nice. Um, our troops up over here are showing up. So that's good because they will... Um, at least reduce a little bit of their capabilities, right? Guys, I'm um, trying to attack here. You guys are moving down there. Well, that's that's fine in theory, but let's try to just try to cut them off. I think that's going to be a good idea. Um, one of you, get over there. 
One of you get down here. The other one is gonna sneak around like that. There we go. Yeah, we are being attacked over here, but it doesn't really matter. Um, as long as we are kicking forward, basically. Right, you guys. Try to take the ray line. Try to take the victory points. I really want to get Iran to surrender to surrender very quickly, so that we're not going to be too concerned with any of the kerfuffles here. Right, come on. Ace pilot promoted. That's all very lovely and such. Unread pot strike results. Let's take a look. So we are losing three uh, airplanes, but they've got sixty destroyers here. Sixty destroyers, two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, six submarines, of which they lost one. That's going to be a very good hunting ground. I'm not entirely sure it does anything for us, but it does... I'm hoping that at least it does... Um, it does increase our navy experience, because that is something that we really uh, need to be very careful about. Right, okay. Cut off these guys there, that's lovely. And you guys are withdrawing here, that's not actually what I would like you to do. Let's try to get you to bond our boss. One of the biggest naval bases. I think we've seen that a lot, actually, in uh, in our Let's Plays of Command. Not more modern, of course, but still. You're being beaten over there. You are being attacked down here. Well, this isn't going anywhere, but you can potentially defend there. Let's try to take you down there. You're flanking around here? Yeah, you are. That's all right. Is there a river? Sometimes it's really hard to see whether there's a river with all of the uh, with all of the front lines. Okay, that's a big that's a big change. So Vichy France is being attacked. I'm not gonna click through all of that. Ooh, that was good. Eleven convoys. No fights over there, but further port strikes here. They are going to lose so badly. Now what does it mean that Vichy France is going to be part of our faction? Probably means that they're going to lose most of Africa. Not much we can do about that, I'm afraid. We could station some troops at least over here. Yeah, look at this. This is going to be a mess. Yeah. Well, it's far away. It's about the only thing that uh, goes in our favor there. Right. Tale of Two Cities. Following the stunning victory of, Germany f of German forces, the time has come to destroy the last vestige of the Bolshevist rule in Europe. Even now, the names of Stalin and Lenin disgrace two major cities in the new German Lebensraum, mocking the soldiers who gave their lives to take them. The Association of the Veterans of the Weltkrieg have presented the government with a suggestion. So we're going to rename that to Linden, Hindenburg and Ludendorff. Yeah, of course we're going to do that. And uh, we are getting the Panzerfaust too. So that is nice. Now, I think the best thing for us to do is actually, even though it's far, far ahead of time, I would like to get better aircraft. And we're going to go for the uh, Fokker Wolf TA-152. It's going to take almost a year, but... It is one of the most crucial crucial things that uh, we can and potentially should be having. Guys, attack. Yes, 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 everyone is going to join up. That's lovely and such. Okay, we are attacking here. That is nice. But I would kind of like at least one of you guys to grab the victory point. Victory points are very, very important. I just want them to surrender basically very quickly here. That's just a single victory point here. Surprisingly enough, we have some supplies over here and they don't. So we're in actually in a much better supply situation there. Good for us. Okay, you guys. You know what? Let's try to go back there and take the ray line running all the way up there. We have actually, I think, we don't have a ray line, a rail connection here now. And I'm not sure how that's going to work in the future. Uh, in the past, you could at least get um, supplies into Asia doing this, but I'm not sure that's true anymore. So I'm not entirely sure how that is going to work. 
Um, but I presume we should better take a look at that. So, yeah. That does basically mean that we need to build a ray line. How can I do that? Ray line from... No, that's not what I intend. Okay, maybe we just need to wait a little bit until we are fully in control of this or whatever. Right, guys, come on. How close can they be to surrender? Eight destroyers sunk. Nice. Convoys, convoys. Um, Fifteen convoys. Unfortunately, not American convoys. Ten convoys from Iran. Ten convoys here from the Americans. Uh, I'm mostly hoping that the Americans and Brits are going to lose a lot of convoys. Uh, to lose their force protection a little bit. Lots of battles down here too. Right. Let's try to get these victory points. But I'm guessing Bandar Abbas really is going to be the key here. And try to grab that. You are actually getting that. That's good. You guys can attack here. You. Go there. Fine. Now we are close to Basra and attacking Iraq might allow us to take Kuwait too. It's not a crucial objective, but it is an objective. Uh, although, actually, I'm not sure whether they do actually have any oil down there. No, they do not. Not in this uh, timeline, at least, or time frame. Okay, they are attacking us. Let's try to flank them. We're going to get the harbor there. That's lovely and such, but... Really, what we do need is uh, you guys to be a little bit more aggressive. Go, go. Just just independently advance over here. And you guys? That 7th Army, you can also just do that a little bit more independently. Right, I don't need to babysit every little thing here. Right, anything else then? Again, see Western Balkans, Southern France. Okay, so they are attempting to do a landing there. The Great Steps have some problem there. Various convoys being lost. I'm guessing these are going to be uh, just initial attacks. Just look at how many convoys the Americans are losing. What battle is this? So, a lot of... This is one of the battles where I would think, at least, that our light cruisers here should be... Yeah, they're making their way over there. That's great. We've got a couple of further submarines. I did uh, rearrange these guys here a little bit so that all of these are... Uh, all of these little wolf packs here are from a similar... Similar type, at least. So that means a couple of them are probably, probably a little bit too small. Um, let's grab half of the U and set you up to be a different fleet. Different fleet. Um, can I split half of you off? Yeah. Split them off. That's great. And then a couple of you guys can merge up with you, I suppose. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Okay. Are you are you joining up there? You don't. Why? You've, you've decided to withdraw here. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Guys, Make your way over here. You are set too aggressive. Automatic split off is disabled. Why are you moving to your naval base? Let's try to get you in here manually. Not sure why you why you didn't join up there. Come on. Why? You're always you're set to engage. Your repair priority should be somewhat medium. You can split off, I don't care. I don't understand. Maybe if we set you to repair? They don't? I don't know why. Oh well, well, it does happen. Right, how are things going in Iran? Alright-ish. 
Do we have a fast unit here? Like you guys? Come on. Come on. There we go. Iran has surrendered. We're actually getting a very significant amount of uh, military equipment here. So infantry equipment we should be really fine on now. Uh, we actually do have three military factories, which is lovely. Let's try to build up more fighters. And speaking of fighters, we our air experience is capped out. So that to me indicates that we should try to modify some of our airplanes here. Huh? Nothing else that we can do, I think reasonably with uh, air experience. No, we just have to do that. So, we are researching the new fighters. I don't want to necessarily do that. So, let's instead modify our naval bombers. Maybe with a little bit more range yet. Doesn't look too bad. Engine, agility, max speed. Hmm. I think the attack really is underwhelming. It's just 5%. So, let's not do that. Yeah, we're going to do it like this. Right, the A variant is now considered obsolete. That does mean you guys can go to the B variant. There we go, lovely indeed. We are still short on rubber. Can we trade for more? We can. Let's buy it from you. How's our construction looking? We're actually mostly repairing at this point, so how about the rail line here? Yeah, okay, now it works. Let's do build the rain line down here, and is there really nothing else? Yeah, you should be level 4. That has one of the highest priorities. Is there really, like, absolutely no rail line running across Iran? It appears there really isn't. Oh, look at that. That is actually Indian units down here from the British Raj. Let's try to finish them off. Okay, guys, so you. Front line. Offensive line. Yep, go. Actually, we should assign everyone to that, right? Yeah. This is the seventh army up there. They should be doing something different. And then you guys can also form a front line here. You can be a little bit more focused and just spearhead way into India. So that's going to be your task. But while you're doing that, we do need to build a further rail line then. So let's build front one from Iran. Just down here. I don't see why not. I don't need to take that little detour. Mm, yeah. Wow. Nope. So that's a little bit more, maybe a little bit more like this. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Yeah, let's make sure that we're trying to build that up as fast as possible. We're also going to build another synthetic fuel refinery uh, because we're needing so much, so, so much uh, uh, of that stuff. Uh, by the way, let's uh, briefly look at the supply mode here. Uh, I really want to make sure that no one here is uh, suffering from any attrition. Doesn't look like it. So that's fine. You guys are also fine. Don't want to pull more troops into this area down here because there really isn't much point doing this. Look at that. Five destroyers, two heavy cruisers sunk. I like it. I like it a lot. So do we have any, any further of these like real battles where we are seeing... Where we're seeing that they are coming in with destroyers and such. Apparently not. We do see more port strikes though. Or at least the game tries to tell, tell us, so I don't see them. Right. Oh, there's another port strike. It's probably ongoing. Yeah, but you're doing damage, so even though, even sometimes when you're not sinking anything, um, I still think you're going to be fine. Right, let's try to get Bandar Abbas. And honestly, you can just start your attacks here. Um, you don't need to be. You don't need to be too. You don't need to wait for anything, basically. Right? How's how are things here? Just convoys. Yeah, just convoys. Submarine. Convoys. 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 
What's going on here? American convoys off the uh, Côte d'Azur. Might be an indication. Ooh, look at this. Um, so, guys. Try to cut off these, these guys up there in the north. That would be fantastic. It's not a lot, mind you, but... Every little bit helps. Okay, there is another rail line down here in the south, so that at least is somewhat promising. You can actually proper join that. Yeah, the question in India is going to be whether we can overwhelm them quickly enough uh, for us to make any difference here. Uh, or whether it's going to devolve into a long-term attritional uh, warfare situation. Right, um, let's get one of you. You can advance into here. Right, and there we go. Fully encircle them now. Good. Now this is all mountainous terrain. Yes. Let's try to break through here. Okay, I'm not sure that's going to work, but let's try anyway. No, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so you guys, um, blue. This is your front line. Your idea is going to be to just go there. You guys, you have another job afterwards here. I suppose we can just try to attack them like that. You can try to support them from over here, please. Yeah, just try to finish them off. You guys, get down there. Hopefully this, this rail line here is going to be successful. You should be you should be finished off there fairly quickly. And that means we're gonna get that, and that means all of these guys are gonna reshuffle. There we go. Everyone is um doing different things now. Great. Um again, offensive line, there we go. So, construction. How about we extend our A line further? Let's try to do that with sort of a minimum number of provinces. One, two, three, four. Eh. This tool really gets to me. Yeah, and that should be should be an important rail line. Notice how difficult it is to build all of that stuff up at the same time. But I don't think it should be taking too too long, so maybe it's gonna work out. Speaking of, you guys over here, you were attacking us, and that might have been a mistake, because even though this is mountainous terrain, very difficult for us to traverse. By the way, I'm afraid of the supply situation here, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the 7th Army, um, and we are going to pull you back a little, if that's alright. Let's bring you back to Baku. And let's... Focus on getting the Mountaineers in for the moment. Yeah, and it looks like... Oh, you're falling ill. Sorry to hear that, man. Right, more rubber. No way to get more rubber, though. Oh, they're so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I'm not sure entirely how many uh, convoys the Brits can be producing. I'm guessing one or two per day. Well, maybe two or three per day. Now we could attack a rock. Innovations two done, lovely, good, very good, and military police done. So, do we want to go for rocketry? It is almost 1943, so that might not be a terrible idea. Air innovation, second Vienna Ward, crossing the Atlantic. 
That does translate quite a couple of military factories into naval factories. Let's not do that for this very moment. Let's go for rocketry instead. That's going to be useful. And in terms of technology, we did just discover, I think, military police, right? Yes. So let's keep that in mind. And then the next thing we want to do is go to advanced centromatic radars because we can. There we go. And let's take a look at our divisions and in particular our anti-partisan template here. And finally get these guys some military police. That should, if I'm not mistaken, free up a lot of manpower. Because it should give these guys a lot more suppression. Um, by the way, we are getting so much fuel that we might want to take a look at our trade situation here and ask actually Iraq to not send us anything anymore. And let's actually ask Romania to not send us anything either. By the way, yeah, no. Um, and let's see whether that is going to be sufficient to sustain our our fuel situation. And if it is, then uh, we're going to be so much better off in producing stuff down here uh, and constructing that. Good. Producing is maybe the wrong word. Right, guys. Um, you are mountain troops. This is mountain terrain. This is what you're built for. But these guys down here already are creating the breakthrough, so that is exactly what I want. It is November, so not traditional campaigning time, but, 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 this is India. So I don't think November as such is going to be such a big problem. Right, half of you go north. Half of you try to go here. One of you is actually going to go there into these railheads. There we go. Little bits of rail are appearing on the maps. And that's good. Let's try to encircle more units here. Ooh, this is not looking that good. You guys are moving a little bit all over the place. Let's try to strike here. Uh, one of you can actually try to pin them in. Yeah. Pilot promoted. That's all goods in search. But really, this should be about breaking out of these damn mountains. Hmm. Can we get them? I'm not sure. We might overwhelm them here. That would be a good result. Yeah, hopefully we are going to get our supply down there. It's not even connected up here. Is that... Is that something that I forgot to do? I don't think so. We'll need to see. If it is, I'm going to be uh, looking a little bit stupid. Right, guys, um, try to attack into the mountains. I mean, you're built for that, so... Really, 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 you should be fine doing this. Who's attacking there, you guys? Come on, just overwhelm them here, and then you're in a good position to uh, box them in. Hmm... Blue guys. Rommel. Come on, modify this. Get over there. You're really the spearhead. You're supposed to be in the front line and nowhere else. Come on, we need to win over here. This is really our best chance of uh, making any progress, really. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just three divisions in battle now. Two of them very low on organization. If we kick them out, this guy is quickly going to be overwhelmed. The Mexican division here. But that's a bit of an if. There we go. The Indians did reinforce. It feels like the AI has a much, much better time at reinforcing than we do. It feels a little bit suspicious. Okay, let's keep an eye on the rest of the world um, so that we're not making any mistake here. More ships sunk, lots and lots of battles. Mostly just convoy battles. 
I wish there was a way, just don't show me pure convoy battles. Only show me battles when it does involve an enemy actual combat unit. Otherwise, I'm not interested. Can't see any landings over here. Oh, we did send our troops forward here, didn't we? Yeah, a bit without further effect. The reason why I'm hoping that that can be successful is because a lot of these guys seem to have been drawn to the east there. Okay, it is early September. Where do we want to go from here? Let's try to strike at Tobruk itself. If we can capture that, that would be again. Okay, we have we have broken through here. Nice. That is fairly good. Someone is attacking down there. That's you. Don't do that. Just defend here for the sec for this very second. And once you have won that defensive battle, we can try to strike north. Um, everyone who's attacking north, oh Jesus, who is that? It's everyone except the 935 and 946. Okay, so you guys are exempt, but you stop your attack. You don't need to attack to the north. Let's win this battle first. One, two, three. A couple of our guys are actually being beaten back here. Not what I think uh, would be lovely. Good. Let's let's try to attack down there. Counter attack, basically. Okay, good. Right. Mountain troops. Quetta. Tanks. This thing. Motorized troops. This area. Okay, tanks are struggling, but you guys are winning. Uh, one of our agents has been captured. That's not so good. Where? Over here? Yes. Let's prepare something with... Who's ever working in the UK? I don't really care. Let's do this. Commence when ready. There we go. Okay, come on now. India. We, we have one over there, so at least that is something. You guys are not going to win down there, but why not actually? I think it's a supply issue. I think it is. Okay, at least this rail line has now been completely linked up. No, it has not. Well, it does look like there is a rail link though. So I'm guessing it's just going to be because it's under construction. Yeah, let's let's just go with that. I like that interpretation. Right, get over here. Get at least a foothold into the plains down here. If we do have a foothold in the plains, I think we are going to be able to overcome them eventually. That really does depend a little bit on whether we can actually break through here. Come on, guys. Come on. Well, apparently I can't do that. Well, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna at least try to get the rail link here. No chance of breaking down through here. Come on, yeah, they they're putting in so many reinforcements. Not good. And uh, notice we do have a lot of air experience, so I suppose again we need to look at this, don't we? We've got the fighter. We are not producing any close air support anymore. So I suppose more naval bombers. Oh, finally we have some capabilities here. You know what? We're going to upgrade the fighter a little bit. Two hundred. That's fine. But that's going to be the final variant of the Focke Wolf one hundred ninety. There we go. You could actually convert stuff. Not a terrible idea. 10 per day? How does that look once we are going over the year? Okay, convert stuff. That long we do have some rubber. Okay. 
Okay, since this isn't working in the front there, what we're going to do is we are going to to take these guys out sort of the proper way. I would have loved to encircle them a little bit here, but just doesn't seem viable. So we're going to attack them from sort of all sides and hoping to overwhelm them that way. But even that seems to fail. I think it is the supply, right? Supply state is zero percent. Yeah. Yeah, I have to accept it. I just have to accept it, guys. Do go back to Tehran. Um, do go back to Tehran? No. Ah, uh, that's that's not what I intend you to do. Ah, you don't because that's that area there is being attacked. Okay, fine. Come on. Are you? No. Okay, that's that. That works. Okay, we do have three dockyards for some reason. Nice. Um, let's continue to build. I think our light cruisers are potentially our best bet here. So we are going to do another run of standard light cruisers here, which should actually have the highest priority. So even a little bit more than the submarines, I suppose. Right, there we go. Good, okay. Pull back all of these tanks, all of these motorized troops and such. That gives us a little bit more supply for everyone else. Which should work out fine. Come on, 83, 82%. Deploy units. Oh, we have more tank divisions. That's nice, we don't need to consider that right now. How's the war on the Baltic going? Not so well. But um, slowly and surely, we are overwhelming them. Convoy by convoy. I have so many troops here. You guys are also completely out of supply? I think so, yes. Yeah. Probably need to wait a little bit here. Until we have a proper rail line constructed. Which is going to take some time, actually. But without anything, I think we are a little bit screwed. Now, what we could do is at least go in parallel over here. And build a little small line from here to there. It's not the biggest, but still a meaningful addition, I think. Ingrad VZRMs. A lot of things here that don't necessarily make a, sense, a lot of sense to repair. So that's fine. In that case, let's do actually build up a couple of naval dockyards. So, naval dockyards. That's a little bit of a double thing, isn't it? Are there any other dockyards than naval ones? Okay, you guys are going to build that up. Still all of the rest here has priority, but that should help out a little bit. Right, you're still converting Fokker Wolves? Interesting, how come that suddenly we have these guys available? Yeah, suddenly it seems like we're mostly upgrading. And it actually doesn't matter whether we're upgrading or just straight up producing them. In that case, let's straight up produce them. No reason not to. Okay, guys. It's not going anywhere. How about we attack down here? Should have a lot more divisions joining. But that's the thing. I mean, they, they tell us that they've got 20% chance to reinforce. But it just doesn't seem to be that way, that way. Okay. Finally, we're getting close to the maximum combat with. Nope. Nope, this isn't working out either. Jesus. Okay, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough, and the, the one and only reason for that is supply. Even with you guys over here, I'm, I'm afraid that that's not going to be enough. So, we're going to actually send you back all the way to Grozny. Ooh, Marine's done. That is lovely too. 
So firstly, what else are we going to do? I think industry 943 technology would be great. So streamlined for more retention or growth. So the efficiency cap is the same. So more retention or more growth. I think more growth is probably going to be the better idea. Still concentrated industry is still probably the best. Anything else then that we need in 1943? Uh, we do not have the bonus for this yet. This is still way ahead of time. I would like to, we are researching the submarine itself. I would like to go for the homing torpedo. Yeah, you know what, let's do that. It's probably going to be one of the best upgrades that we have. The other thing, of course, that we now do, do need to do is take a look at the Marines. Now, I don't uh, I only actually need to take a look at what's the combat width on amphibious landings, whether that does actually make any difference. Now, what I suppose we could use is... How about flame tanks, actually? You do not give us any, any modifier on naval landings, actually, it seems like. So amphibious, that's 50%. And with this, this would be 60%. Are you actually giving us a bonus? Yes! Fine! I like it! Not sure how we're going to get these guys on shore, but I don't care. We're certainly going to give you engineers. And anything else? Cavalry recon? Recon is useful. Hospitals, I don't care about. Support artillery is always kind of nice. No modifier here, so yeah, let's do pick some artillery. We're going to save that up, and we are going to train a couple of these guys. How many of these guys can we train? Not that few. So let's actually try to get a full load of these guys. High priority, and let's actually edit you and make sure that you are getting new equipment here with a high priority. Right, that being said, nothing else here. Oh, by the way, notice, light tanks. We've got more than a thousand T-26s. I'm not sure what we're going to do with these guys. We've also got a couple of T-32s. We've just got that. I'm I'm not sure what to do with that, but we have it, so that is kind of nice. Right, and then what we're going to do down here is we are mostly going to wait for the supply situation to become better. I mean, it almost looks like we have a decent ray line now. It at least the graphic says tells us that there is a complete connection. Are you guys actually being prioritized that way? Okay, that should make it a little bit better down here. Yeah, that, that does look a little bit better, so that's good. Have you actually finished that construction? No, you haven't, but that's fine, that's fine. Prioritize these guys because there's more of them. Fine. But you know what? I think this is absolutely the place where we do need to put in a cut. And I would say thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Do leave a like. And uh, let me know your thoughts on what would be the best approach here. Especially on the naval side. Um, I do like my light cruiser uh, way and just whittling down at the enemy uh, supplies. Oh, I think, by the way, that we were successful here. I didn't really pay attention to that, but that is not looking too bad. This isn't looking too bad either. I mean, they are close to Damascus, but not too close. So, seems to be working out so far. No landings as far as I can tell. Not even that much uh, fighting down here in Africa. So, yeah, I think India is going to be a very crucial theater here. Dominion of India, Dominion of India. I think some of these guys are called Canadian for before, but evidently they're not. Free France, actually. If we could just strike here to the north. Right. Hope to see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.